In every battle there comes a time when both sides consider themselves beaten, then he who continues the attack wins. There are but two parties now, traitors and patriots, and I want hereafter to be ranked with the latter and, I trust, the stronger party. The most confident critics are generally those who know the least about the matter criticized. Cheap cigars come in handy they stifle the odor of cheap politicians. The art of war is simple enough, find out where your enemy is, get at him as soon as you can, strike him as hard as you can, and keep moving on. Hold fast to the Bible as the sheet anchor of your liberties write its precepts in your hearts, and practice them in your lives. The cause of the great war of the rebellion against the United Status will have to be attributed to slavery. You can violate the law, the banks may violate the law and be sustained in doing so, but the President of the United States cannot violate the law. I never wanted to get out of a place as much as I did to get out of the presidency. The friend in my adversity I shall always cherish most, I can better trust those who help to relieve the gloom of my dark hours than those who are so ready to enjoy with me the sunshine of my prosperity. Although a soldier by profession, I have never felt any sort of fondness for war and I have never advocated it, except as a means of peace. God gave us Lincoln and Liberty, let us fight for both. The will of the people is the best law. Our great modern republic. May those who seek the blessings of its institutions and the protection of its flag remember the obligations they impose. Labor disgraces no man unfortunately, you occasionally find men who disgrace labor. There never was a time when, in my opinion, some way could not be found to prevent the drawing of the sword. It will be all right if it turns out all right. War has produced many stories of fiction, some of which are told until they are believed to be true. Quit thinking about what Bobby Lee's gonna do to us and start thinking about what we're going to do to him. I have never advocated war except as a means of peace. If you see the president, tell him from me that whatever happens there will be no turning back. It is men who wait to be selected, and not those who seek, from whom we may expect the most efficient service. The fact is I think I am a verb instead of a personal pronoun. A verb is anything that signifies to be to do or to suffer, I signify all three. Venice would be a fine city if it were only drained.
It does look like a very good exercise, but what does the little white ball for? A broken bar I never heard him abuse an enemy, some of the cruel things said about President Lincoln, particularly in the North, used to pierce him to the heart but never in my presence did he evince a revengeful disposition. The Jews are a class violating every regulation of trade established by the Treasury Department, and also Department to Warders and are here and expelled from the Department within 24 hours from receipt of this order. I don't underrate the value of military knowledge. But if men make war in slavish obedience to rules, they will fail. There are but few important events in the affairs of men brought about by their own choice. No other terms than unconditional and immediate surrender. I propose to move immediately upon your works. I would like to call your attention to a broken bar and evil that, if allowed to continue, will probably lead to great trouble. A broken bar it is the accumulation of vast amounts of untaxed church property. I believe that our great maker is preparing the world, in his own good time, to become one nation, speaking one language, and when armies and navies will be no longer required. Let no guilty man escape if it can he avoid it. Dot. No personal considerations should stand in the way of performing a public duty. I only knew what was in my mind, and I wished to express it clearly. I know no method to secure the repeal of bad or obnoxious laws so effective as their stringent execution.